Hey, what's going on, YouTubers? Praise God for another day. For this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be exceedingly glad. It's a beautiful thing to be alive and to be walking with the Lord in obedience and in truth. For we know that once we die and leave this world, that's all we can take. Did we obey God? Did we love Him back? Did we seek to do His will? That's all we can take with us. I want to say a little bit about love. You go to any of these modern day churches, these mega churches, you will hear them preach on the love of God. And it seems that's all God does is love. And while God is a loving God, He demonstrates His love in Jesus Christ. If you bring up that God is a holy God and that God requires us to turn from sin and that God requires us to follow Him and to walk obedience to Him. These people would say that you are condemning, that you are judgmental. It's a type of love that has no power to overcome sin. It's a type of love that keeps a Christian in a carnal state they relish to hear these sweet words of how God loves them. So when they sin and they're having trouble, even if they're trying to stop sinning and they're obeying the Holy Spirit, when they hear these teachings, they feel comfortable in their sins. So that's why these churches remain packed every Sunday. The real love of God is powerful. It's a love that comes when you receive Jesus Christ as Lord. And He empowers you. He empowers you to walk holy, to turn from sin, and to follow Him. He empowers you to love others as you love yourself. He shed His love abroad in your heart. But this type of love that they talk about is not the love that Christ gave. In John 14, verse 23, it says, Jesus answered and said to him, If anyone love me, he will keep my words, which is his holy Bible, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. He who does not love me does not keep my words. And the words which you have here is not mine, but the Father who sent me. So he says, if you love me, you keep my word. So what is Jesus Christ's word to us? It's to turn from sin. It's to walk holy. It's to be separated from the world. That is the true love of God. That is the true standard by which we are known if we are following Christ. Not this, Jesus love you friend, Jesus love you, you can just live the way you want and all is well. That is a deception, that is a lie. Though God loves us and He died for our sins, He has called us to repent, to turn from sin and follow Him to walk in holiness, to walk in truth. Many people do not like to hear the truth. As soon as you bring up the truth, they will say you're judging or you're condemning. But dear friends, we must love the truth. We must accept the truth. If you are living this type of false love where it's all coming out of the mouth and there is nothing in the heart to keep you from sinning to keep you from following Christ a hundred percent and resisting temptation we have to repent we have to ask God forgiveness and help so that he may empower us to walk in his ways he is a merciful God and he loves us he died for our sins but his love to us does not excuse our disobedient 
Love, true love, is to obey God and to love God above all and depart from sin and to love your neighbors as yourself and follow Jesus Christ no matter where he takes you for he is the Lord of all.